The Kyle Perico heist has been out for a couple of days now, and we're starting to finally figure out the best way and the most efficient way, and honestly, the easiest way to do it. In today's video, I am going to show you guys probably the best way to enter the compound without getting caught, without running across the whole island, without having to deal with the freaking cameras and the guards. This makes this heist so much better. And I would highly recommend going this route every single time going forward. So if you've been struggling with this new heist and you just want to make some damn money, then this video is for you. If you enjoy it, by the way, I'd appreciate it if you could drop it a like and hit that subscribe button. If you are new around here, there'll be a bunch more other Kyo Perico heist videos over the next couple of days. Like I've been saying, as we're sort of working through this, we're starting to figure out what to do, what's the best way, how much money things are so definitely be on the lookout for all of that content now what is the best way to enter the compound now of course this starts by doing the scouting mission you have to scout this hidden entrance now if you're like me and some of my friends when you first went to the island to scout it out not knowing anything you probably jumped into the water thinking you can get around the guards and get around the cameras only to find out there's nothing out there in the water. There's no way to get up. Rockstar put invisible walls, but it turns out actually we were kind of wrong. They did put something in the water and it is the best thing that they could have done. Underneath the compound, there's actually an underwater sewer tunnel. And this is the hidden entrance. You can see in the gameplay, you are going to have to obviously jump into the water and swim a little ways until you're where the, the pretty big cliffs are. And if you just go under the water, you should get the entry point called the drainage tunnel scouted. And I mean, that's actually pretty much it. As far as the scouting is concerned, there's not a whole bunch else you need for this particular entrance. If you want, of course, you can scout the rest of the island but you really don't need to. Now, what's cool is that once you have that entrance, that underwater entrance scouted, when you go back to your submarine and start doing the heist prep missions, you'll actually get a new heist prep mission. And it is one for the cutting torch. Now, what is so amazing about this cutting torch is that it pretty much replaces the bolt cutters. So if you end up getting the cutting torch you don't need to look for the bolt cutters while scouting out the mission which saves so much time not sure about you guys but i would much rather do a prep mission to go get the cutting torch than running across the island aimlessly looking for the bolt cutters and the actual heist prep itself is relatively easy you just go to a construction site and you have to just search for the cutting torch once you have it that's it Okay, so now that we have the underwater entrance scoped and we have the cutting torch to get in, let's do the heist finale. You can pick any vehicle you want. It really doesn't matter. It, the only difference is that depending on which vehicle you choose, you will have to run potentially further if you want to get underwater. This first clip, we did it with the helicopter. There's actually a drop off point relatively close to the compound. You can sort of see on the mini map there. If you don't have that drop point, then just take a picture of this area when you're scouting and you'll get it. But this one isn't bad because you are relatively close, although you still have to walk and swim a little ways. I personally think the best way is actually the plane, because with the plane, you can jump out at any point. Although you can see on the mini map, there is a pretty big red circle around the compound. So you have to be a little cautious here. But if you're a decent enough player, then you can literally just parachute around the circle. And then once you get low enough, just parachute basically and land in the water. This gets you probably the closest without having to run or swim. And then from here, it's literally as simple as going up to that underwater entrance and going in. I mean, you have to, I think the heist leader has to have a little cutscene with the cutting torch to obviously cut the... I believe it's actually something you have to do. It's not just like an actual cutscene. You have to manually do it, but it shouldn't matter. Like you're not going to drown in the cutscene. Also, 
this way i'd highly recommend getting the air rebreathers from the uh, ammunition i believe you can stack 20 of those if you're underwater on pc if you hit the g key it'll put the mask on i don't exactly know what it is on controller i'm sure it's probably like right on the d-pad or left on the d-pad or something but once your friend cuts the grate, then you just basically go right in. And then as for getting to the vault, I actually saw someone came up with a very easy stealth method. So when you go up this underwater entrance, you'll be put sort of on the backside of the compound. And you're relatively safe in a pretty big distance here. The guards don't ever really come back here. So you have some time to plan out your route. You can obviously do whatever you want here, but the easiest route seems to be going to the left. I'll actually put this image up on the screen, and this is an image that Reddit user Torfic came up with. I find this to be the easiest way in. You basically follow the green line, and you're gonna see, I'll switch back to the gameplay. At the start, you might have to wait for the Juggernaut to pass. There's also a guard that sort of walks by. You might have to wait for him to pass, but once those two guys pass, you basically just walk to the middle of the compound. There's a guard and a camera going back to the mini map. You'll see you have to take out the guard, probably the camera as well, just so the camera doesn't see the dead body. And then you basically just go into the middle of the compound and walk up the stairs. There's two of the, uh, the red cone guards easily take those guys out with a silenced gun and boom, you're in the main office. From here, you can easily hack, go down, get the main target, get maybe some of the gold that's down there as well, or the paintings, and then you can either leave or continue your route. I'll be doing a separate video on the best way to actually exit the compound, the easiest way to exit. There's actually a pretty cheese method that uh, is, is, is just the best, honestly. The only downside of going this super stealth route and only killing three guards is you're you're not gonna actually get the key cards because you do need two key cards to unlock the gold and some of the other items around the actual compound. What we ended up doing is once we got the main target and all the stuff underneath, then we went stealthily and, and killed the guards until we got two keys to get the rest of the gold. But I will say if you're doing this solo, this this stealth method is probably all you need because once you get down into the vault there's probably going to be enough gold or other items down there to fill your bag to the limit so hopefully this video helps you guys out if you've been struggling i know if you're like me the first couple of times you did this heist you probably landed at the airport or something and you had to walk and run across the entire island it's just a hassle this is probably the best way to enter you just go in underneath them and you only got to kill three guards easy every single time thank you all for watching though that is gonna do it for this video please drop it a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and subscribe for more gta kyle perico heist content but as always i will see you all in the next one